No one wants to have a home that's too cheap, unfinished, and ultimately not cozy. Today, we're going to give you five things that make your home look cheap and five super easy upgrades to fit them. We have been in the decor and furniture industry for many years and have been many, I've seen many living space and some with such a great potential, but they look cheap. So you really don't want that for your home. We are Noeli and Oliver. We live here in Bali with our two little girls and we are the owners of the e-commerce mojoboutique.com. And so now let's dive into it. So now the number one thing, super basic that makes your home Home look cheap is cords and cables. We all have them. We cannot do without nowadays, but they easily look chaotic, messy, and they're hardly ever beautiful. So to fix them, look for sleeves for cable binders to put them together, organize them nicely, attach them to the wall, or even better, if there's a way to hide them behind the blind or go the other way around so it's behind your sofa, hide them, or when you cannot hide them, make it look nicely, not that they're just lying on the floor and like a snake you want them go straight be at an angle and make them beautiful by applying sleeves and put them together also cable boxes are good so there where the messy part of it put it in a box and hide it and only the string that really needs to go out and be visible comes out it will change it's a game changer having nicely organized cables and as little visible as possible and when they're visible make them aesthetic also maybe choose a black over a white cable it's oftentimes less apparent so really take the attention to details when it comes to hiding and organizing your cable it is a game changer yeah definitely and when you have found your way to tie up your cable so it's not seen then stick to it let just tie up always the same way even if it's a cord that you have to take off every day make sure that it's really always tied up and that the eye cannot see it. It's really a game changer, not only for your family and for your guests, but also for you as a respect to your home interior. One more thing, in one room, it's usually good to stick to one color of cable or one color of cable sleeve so you want to not have a, a mix there because it will attract a too much attention that we don't want on the cables and there is a possibility it can happen that you really cannot hide them and if it's the case then you can purchase one of a nice raffia natural basket and you just put in it so on the vision of the living space you won't see it you will just see the nice basket so now number two thing that make your home look cheap is this fridge magnets. Yeah, we are parents, so we know how cool it can be to have a lot of magnets on the fridge so the kids can play around with it and it can be kind of cute, but it definitely make a home look super cheap. If you really want them, so you can purchase, it's really not expensive, one of these magnetic whiteboard that you really tie that in the corner in your kids' room or wherever you want, but not on the fridge and not in a way that you can see it. Number three, it's kind of linked to number two, it's kids' artwork. Once again, we are parents, we love the artwork of our daughters, we think it's the best artwork ever, but really, if you want to have it, don't hang it on the fridge or anywhere in your living room or kitchen. Keep it tidy, you can frame it, and then you can always rotate it. It's also a nice way to rotate your art your kids art but really avoid to have them anywhere on the wall on the fridge it's really look cheap number four is a cluttered home whatever it is if it's too much of little things everywhere uh, a souvenir from here and a souvenir from there if it's not put in the right light it will just clutter and fill your space up with things that make it ultimately look cheap so you can have souvenirs you can post all things that evoke your memories that that you would like from a travel from somewhere but choose them well and only a few and then place them nicely on a shelf on a sideboard well chosen and then if you would like to expose something else because you think of a different trip or of a different occasion in your life rotate it as well it's here put them in a, in a box maybe in your basement in your garage and then rotate them and only have a few every time it's important not to clutter not to overdo it because overdoing it will make it look cheap however even if it's a 
souvenir that was actually cheap, but put in the light right will make it a very stylish interior. Exactly. And an easy way to make sure your interior is always cluttered is by making sure that every item has its place and every place has its item. So you have to be very disciplined, but this is really not a nice word. So you have really to have kind of devotion for your home interior. So for that, you really have to make sure that every item you have has its own space. And if there are too many items on one space, then just rotate. Last but definitely not least is quality over quantity for pretty much everything. So make sure to always privilege quality item over having many items. For example, if you want to purchase a wall decor, then make sure to purchase a really nice one that will attract the eye that you truly love instead of having five posters hang on the wall. It will obviously make your home look cheap if you have a lot, too many items and a lot of cheap things. If you have a small budget, you can still really make sure to privilege quality over quantity. So five things that make your home look cheap and that you want to avoid because you want to have a home that you feel good in it and that you also are proud that it gets a full potential that your space has. So watch out. Make sure the cords and cables are neatly organized and not visible if possible. Magnets on the fridge is a no-go. Look for better ways or for nicer souvenirs. Children's artwork are nice, we all like it, but expose it rightly only a few of them and if you want it like frame it or put it in a way that it looks not just put there with a scotch and that make, makes it look cheap then we have um, declutter your space and do not add too many things only a few things but those put in the right place everything has its place and every place has its thing and lastly it's always quality over quantity we hope these tricks they help you organize your home and make it cozy and welcoming and we hope you tune in back again when for our next video. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.